Here are five ways to lie with crime statistics. Do the figures measure arrests, charges, or convictions? These can all be reported as crimes, but depending on which one you choose, they can yield very different numbers. In the case of arrests and charges, maybe no crimes ever really even occurred. So you can pick the metric that suits your narrative. More police and more searches can mean more crimes are recorded, but not necessarily that there was more crime in the first place. It can mean that the police are keeping better track of crime. Uh, but it can also mean that police are creating crimes through negative interactions with the public. Think about an otherwise innocent person who gets stopped and searched by police, gets angry, uh, maybe pushes back against the cops or says something insulting and they get arrested for it. This recent story from Victoria says that crime rates are going up despite a record high arrest rate, but it could equally be because of a record high arrest rate. Different communities report crime differently. Uh, some people might not report crime because they don't have faith in their local police force to solve anything, or they're from a marginalised group who is targeted by the police so they don't cooperate. Uh, conversely, curtain twitches in rich neighbourhoods might report lots of imagined crimes at the drop of a hat. So the reported figures don't tell the full story. And you know what crimes the police almost never record? Their own. When they attack peaceful protesters, conduct illegal searches, or act corruptly, that very rarely shows up in crime statistics. What we consider a crime changes all the time. Hundreds of people in the UK were recently arrested for supporting a terrorist organisation, Palestine Action, a non-violent group that was recently added to the list of prescribed terror organisations. Now, this means that the rate of terror offences has massively spiked, but has there actually been an increase in terrorism? And then comparing crime rates across different jurisdictions is a classic way to lie. Every country has slightly different definitions of crimes, so you should take these comparisons with a grain of salt. A good example of this is that R crime that some social media platforms don't want us to talk about. Sweden has a much more expansive definition of this than most countries, and so it seems like they have this uniquely high R rate, but they actually are just capturing a different set of behaviours. So when you see a story about crime rates in the media, ask yourself who is pushing it and why. Is it a political party trying to scare you into voting for them? Is it a wealthy media owner who wants you worried about youths and immigrants committing crimes instead of the corporations that actually make your life worse? Or is it the police themselves who want more money, weapons and power over you?